Picture this, a dimly lit movie theater, the scent of buttered popcorn wafting through the air, and the hushed whispers of anticipation. As the silver screen flickers to life, a face emerges, captivating and enigmatic, etched into the memories of cinephiles across generations. That face belongs to none other than Gloria Graham, a timeless icon of the silver screen, whose presence has graced the hearts of many. Gloria Graham, a name that evokes nostalgia and cinematic allure, has left an indelible mark on the annals of Hollywood history. Perhaps your earliest recognition of her was in that classic film, the one that transported you to a world where glamour and drama intertwined effortlessly. Or maybe it was her sultry voice, a husky whisper that could melt even the iciest of hearts, which first drew you in. Regardless of how you first encountered Gloria Graham, her magnetic charm undoubtedly left you with cherished memories of those cinematic moments. Now, let's delve into some captivating and perhaps surprising facts about this legendary actress, unraveling the layers of her fascinating life and career. From her Academy Award-winning role to her intriguing personal life, there's so much more to discover about the enigmatic Gloria Graham. Gloria Graham, a captivating star of the silver screen in the glittering constellation of Hollywood's golden era, Gloria Graham was a star whose brilliance shone uniquely. Born on November 28, 1923, in Los Angeles, California, as Gloria Hallward, she would go on to carve a remarkable path in the world of cinema, leaving an indelible mark on both the big screen and the hearts of her admirers. While many remember Gloria Graham for her sultry roles and distinctive voice, there's a captivating backstory to her early years that is often overlooked. As a young girl, she exhibited a remarkable talent for dance, studying under the renowned teacher Ernest Belcher, who also coached legends like Gene Kelly and Shirley Temple. Her upbringing in the world of dance not only imbued her with grace and poise, but also served as a stepping stone to her future in Hollywood. Gloria's journey into acting began in the theater, where she honed her craft before transitioning to the silver screen. She made her film debut in the 1944 film Blonde Fever and quickly gained recognition for her captivating screen presence. But it was her role as Violet Bick in the holiday classic It's a Wonderful Life that truly catapulted her into the limelight. However, it was her penchant for playing complex and morally ambiguous characters that set Gloria Graham apart. In 1952, she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of Rosemary Bartlow in The Bad and The Beautiful. This marked a pinnacle in her career, solidifying her as one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile actresses. Interestingly, she accepted her Oscar with a heartfelt and rather unconventional speech, thanking her then-husband Cy Howard before anyone else, a gesture that remains etched in the history of the Academy Awards. Gloria Graham's personal life was as intriguing as her on-screen characters. She had a series of tumultuous marriages, including one to director Nicholas Ray, with whom she shared an intense and stormy relationship during the making of In a Lonely Place. Her personal struggles added depth and authenticity to her performances, creating a magnetic allure for audiences who saw in her a reflection of their own complex lives. Despite the highs and lows of her career and personal life, Gloria Graham's talent endured. She continued to act in films and on television throughout the 1950s and 1960s, and her presence was a constant reminder of her unique ability to captivate audiences with her charm and charisma. In 1981, Gloria Graham was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she valiantly fought the disease for years. During her illness, she maintained her love for acting, performing on stage and even in television shows. Her resilience in the face of adversity mirrored the strength of the characters she portrayed on screen. Gloria Graham's life and career remind us that behind the glamour and glitz of Hollywood, there are individuals with stories as complex and compelling as any movie script. She remains an enduring icon, celebrated for her talent, courage, and the indomitable spirit that define both her personal and professional life. In 1981, at the age of 57, Gloria Graham passed away, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Her contributions to the world of cinema are a testament to her talent, and her life serves as a reminder that true greatness often lies in the ability to transcend one's own challenges and connect with the hearts of others. So, the next time you watch a Gloria Graham film, remember the remarkable journey of the actress behind those unforgettable performances, a journey filled with passion, resilience, and a touch of the extraordinary.
Gloria Graham, a prominent actress, spent her final days in the home of her friend, Peter Turner, in Liverpool, England. However, she was flown back to New York shortly before her death. At the age of 57, she succumbed to stomach cancer and peritonitis at St. Vincent's Hospital, Manhattan. Her passing preceded that of her nonagenarian parents, her father in 1982 and her mother in 1984. There's a notable 1987 biography about her titled film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. Regarding her work, Graham's recordings for the movie Oklahoma in 1955 were crafted almost note by note, showcasing her dedication to her craft. In her final days and throughout her career, Gloria Graham left an indelible mark on Hollywood in the world of cinema, remembered for her remarkable talent and the poignant story of her life. Her life. Her life. Her life. Gloria Graham, the American actress known for her roles in classic films, had her unique quirks and moments in the spotlight. One noteworthy fact is that she was reportedly tone deaf, but in one film, she sang without dubbing. While Graham's singing abilities were limited, she ventured to sing in a movie, demonstrating her dedication to her craft. In the 1950 film In a Lonely Place, Graham's on-set dynamics with Humphrey Bogart, her co-star, were less than harmonious. Bogart had lobbied for his wife, Lauren Bacall, to be cast as Laurel Gray in the film. However, the role ultimately went to Graham, leading to reported tensions between her and Bogart during the production. Graham's family history also bears an interesting connection. Her lineage can be traced back to royalty. Her maternal ancestry links her to King Edward III through John of Gaunt, while her mother's side is of Scottish descent. This historical lineage adds an intriguing layer to her family background. While Gloria Graham's career and personal life had its share of complexities, these facts provide a glimpse into the multifaceted world of this talented actress. Each aspect of her life adds depth to her story, making her a fascinating figure in Hollywood history. Wood history. Wood history. Wood. Gloria Graham, a talented actress of her time, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. One noteworthy achievement in her career was winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in The Bad and the Beautiful at the 25th Annual Academy Awards in 1953, making her the 37th actress to receive this prestigious accolade. Additionally, Graham was known for her determination in campaigning for specific film roles. She lobbied for the role of Judy Holliday in Born Yesterday in 1950 and also pursued the part of Shelley Winters, in A Place in the Sun in 1951. Her dedication to these roles showcased her commitment to her craft. While these are notable aspects of Gloria Graham's career, it's important to remember her as a versatile actress who made significant contributions to the world of film. Her legacy endures as a testament to her talent and determination. Nation, 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 nation. Gloria Graham, a Hollywood actress of note, had her share of interesting tidbits. Among them, her connection to royalty stands out. Her father's lineage traced back to nobility, adding a touch of regal ancestry to her Hollywood story. Apart from her noble heritage, Gloria underwent a cosmetic procedure to enhance her appearance. She had work done on her gum line to achieve a more aesthetically pleasing smile, although the results were subtle. In the realm of cinema, Gloria made her mark by appearing in three Oscar Best Picture nominees. These films were It's a Wonderful Life, Crossfire, and The Greatest Show on Earth. Notably, The Greatest Show on Earth emerged as the winner in 1952. Gloria Graham's life and career were a tapestry of intriguing details, from her royal lineage to her Hollywood successes and cosmetic choices. These facets offer a glimpse into the multi-dimensional personality of a Hollywood legend. 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 Gloria Graham's 1960 marriage to her former stepson, Anthony Ray, stirred up a Hollywood scandal that cast a shadow on her career. This union, her longest and most successful, led to a bitter child custody battle with her previous husbands. The controversy surrounding her personal life slowed down her professional endeavors. Aside from her tumultuous personal life, Graham was known for her distinctive look. She wasn't satisfied with the tilt of her upper lip and would often stuff cotton along with it to achieve the appearance she desired. Tragically, while preparing to take on the role of Amanda in a production of The Glass Menagerie, Graham was struck by cancer. This illness marked a significant turning point in her life and career. 
In summary, Gloria Graham's scandalous marriage, her quest for physical perfection, and her battle with cancer are all notable aspects of her life and career. These events, each in its own way, left a lasting impact on the trajectory of her Hollywood journey. Gloria Graham, a notable actress, made her mark in Hollywood with some interesting achievements. One of the most notable is her distinction as the first actress to join the actor's studio after already having won an Academy Award. This demonstrated her commitment to honing her craft despite her previous success. Additionally, Graham's filmography includes five movies recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. These films are It's a Wonderful Life, In a Lonely Place, The Bad and the Beautiful, The Big Heat, and Oklahoma. These selections attest to her talent and the enduring impact of her work in the world of cinema. While there isn't enough substantial information to connect Gloria Graham to Kings of the Hebrides, her contributions to film history and her unique achievements in the industry make her a noteworthy figure in Hollywood's golden era. In summary, Gloria Graham's legacy is marked by her pioneering entry into the actor's studio and her involvement in five films enshrined in the National Film Registry. Her dedication to her craft continues to be celebrated in the world of cinema, world of cinema, world of cinema. As we bring the curtain down on this journey through the remarkable career of Gloria Graham, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you may have forged with this iconic actress. Graham's performances have a unique ability to resonate with audiences, leaving an indelible mark on those who have had the privilege of witnessing her talent. Whether it's her sultry allure in In a Lonely Place, her captivating vulnerability in The Bad and the Beautiful, or her electrifying presence in The Big Heat, Gloria Graham's work transcends time, continuing to captivate hearts and minds across generations. Her ability to convey a kaleidoscope of emotions on screen has made her a timeless figure in the world of entertainment. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about Gloria Graham's performances. What scene or film left an indelible impression on you? How did her work touch your life or resonate with your own experiences? Your reflections add depth to the legacy of this extraordinary actress and provide an opportunity for others to discover her brilliance anew. In closing, let us express our profound appreciation for Gloria Graham's enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Her contributions have enriched our cinematic landscape and continue to inspire artists and audiences alike. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of Gloria Graham with us. Your interest and engagement are truly valued.